Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about OSINT framework. So OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence and what it does is it collects information from all the publicly available resources and and it stores inside a database. So why we use OSINT? So we use OSINT for footprinting purposes. So if you want to gather information related to a, a specific individual then for that we use OSINT framework so let me show you what I'm talking about so if I search OSINT as you can see open source intelligence and what it does it collects data from publicly available sources so we can access those data so if I open this website OSINTframework.com Let it roll. So as you can see the website has been loaded. So these type of information we can gather, we can collect. So uh, like username, email address, domain name, IP address, images, videos, talks, social networking, people search and telephone public record business record so it gives you a lot of options even dark web so as you can see so let's use email address so or username so when you click on any of the link so it will open more it will give you more option so if you want a specific site so you want the username search engine so i click username search engine so here it will give me all the search engine where I can open these sites and I can search any user. So if I choose specific sites, as you can see it will open specific site. So GitHub user, Amazon username. So let me open a name check. So let's open the first one and it will open a website okay so this is for domain so if you want to check any domain as you can see so I'm not going to do this so let's open instant username check so let's see what is this website for so okay so if I check this so will this site able to find information so okay so as you can see this username is found on these many websites okay so these are a lot so what if i click any of these so if i open this so page not found so there is okay so it is also not working let's open different website so usersearch.org some of these websites won't work so there there might be some old website or their database might be old which doesn't work So as you can see, this username has been found on three different websites. So if I view profile, so as you can see, it is giving explanation. So this username is currently occupied or currently registered by these four websites. So this user doesn't post any information, but there is a user with this name. So this information is correct. And you can also check on these websites if I open if I want to do let's email address footprinting so uh, if I want to verify any email so if our email is valid or not so how to do that so if I open this website so and if I enter this so
Let's check this address and so as you can see it is showing that the mail server has been found and as far as this concerned this looks like a valid email address so this way you can use OSINT framework so if you want to see if your email has been if your data has been breached or not you can use these websites to see and this is a very popular website have i been found to see if your data has been compromised so if i check my email id so if my if this email id has been compromised by the attackers or not so so no pawnage found so my email address is secure it has not been hacked by the hackers and in similar way you can use these also so as you might know there was a huge data breach of ashe medicine websites of website so it was a dating site so you can also check here if your email address has been hacked or not so in this way you can see a lot of things like blacklist information and social network information so it's a lot of thing it's a gui so you don't have to do like you can clearly do it on your own so if you want any information you can just open these things and they will give you information so if i open dark web and read it deep web so it will give me like dark web related information so there you go this is OSINT and I hope you can like you might have understand what is OSINT and how to use it so it's very easy to use this so yeah so that's it for this video